Welcome to welcome back to Vision uh, 2030. Uh, those of you who have just joined us, my name is Anam Chowdhury. Uh, we've been talking about um, uh, the challenges that our community uh, has been facing uh, and also currently facing uh, in regards to our own development uh, in this country. I'm joined here by Councillor Saida Khatun, the Deputy Leader of Sandwell Council. I'm also joined by uh, Dr. Hussein, uh, the faculty member with the Birmingham City uh, University and also Reverend uh, Chris Allen, who is the founder of Community Compass, uh, Compass Community Partnership. Like I said before the break, we were talking about some of the challenges uh, and the current issues that the community is facing, issues such as lack of, um, uh, lack of uh, skills, uh, training, um, services, and also generally the opportunities that uh, our community is not receiving due to uh, some of the many uh, barriers that we are facing, like living in deprived areas and also language barriers and, and so forth. But we we as a community, we can't really be silent and remain uh, deprived and disadvantaged for the rest of our lives and living in this country. But what we need to do is we need to be proactive, we need to take action, especially action from within our communities which can contribute towards the development of our community here. I want to ask, uh, uh, I want to ask uh, Councillor Khatoun, um, you know, we looked at all these challenges and barriers. Uh, what can be done? What needs to be done to improve the lives of our community uh, at a local and national level? Do you have, uh, give us some sort of, tell us some about uh, some of your experience of how you're working in the community to improve the lives of, uh, of Bangladeshi people at a local level? And do you have any suggestion how we can do it on a, uh, on a national level as well? Okay. As Chris said earlier, the, you know, integration and social cohesion just doesn't happen overnight mm -hmm. it just doesn't happen uh, by default you know um, organizations the you know the government and and ministers and and people in decision making places need to mm -hmm. you know put some time and resources in mm -hmm. um, and i think you know community centers like ourselves you know we're doing a lot in terms of doing in, you know integrating um, the, the communities uh, with, with other communities. So mm -hmm. we're doing initiatives such as the Come Down With Neighbours mm -hmm. um, project where uh, people from different faiths, different groups, mm -hmm. different backgrounds can come and cook dishes and share with their sort of other neighbours that are from other other groups and other religions and backgrounds. Uh, we do uh, co like like fun days and events where families can come. Mm -hmm. So the families have the same kind of needs, you know, the housing, mm -hmm. education, your children's need. So they can come and, and, and have, you know, events we're doing like the Easter um, egg hunt and things like that, making it a bit fun where people can join in in those activities. Um, we, you know, in terms of the other the stuff, I mean, you know, ESOL resources have been like diminishing, you know, mm -hmm. with the sort of the, the budget pressures on councils and that. Um, there isn't a lot of resources is going into ESOL and I think that needs to sort of you know re re be revamped and and people need to be sort of trained on you know we talked about the internet and that where they're not accessing the internet and I think communities should, should know that the internet IT is the future mm -hmm. you know technology is, is the future in terms of any any kind of work and employment and um, education is the key you know um, regardless of even if you're in a, a low skilled job you can still go and do um, on the side uh, part time you can still study mm -hmm. and and sort of add to your studies so it gives you you know having a degree to back up your skills gives you sort of an opportunity to go into management. So, and, so what and you're saying like that. is that you know, it's very important to have a localized platform. So mm -hmm. having a community center which is dedicated to mm -hmm. Bangladesh and other communities, mm -hmm. having a platform there where people yeah. will be able to come in and, and, and seek out for the opportunities uh, if they're available. So yeah. having a localized platform is something that is important yeah. for our yeah, community. Yeah, community learning and community venues mm -hmm. and not just the uh, academic like universities. Mm -hmm. You know, those are all right for the children that have grown up here mm -hmm. and, and are going through the schools. And I think they should continue, you know, their sixth form, their colleges and go to uni and, and wherever. But the ones that haven't, they've missed out, who haven't got the GCSEs and things like mm -hmm. that. I think they ought to go back and do their maths and English. And, and at, you can do them at community uh, venues, but the resources have to be there to provide those. Mm -hmm. And uh, th there aren't enough of it. I think there should be more mm -hmm. sort of investment into those um, okay. initiatives. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, the local authorities has got some role to play there in mm -hmm. terms of investing in their local facilities mm -hmm. and, and asset mm -hmm. transfer and those areas. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think we have somebody on the call. Um, uh, 
No? Uh, okay, uh, I want to go to... Um, yes, we have a call. Um, yes, uh, hello. Uh, what's your name and where are you calling from, please? And what would you like to say? Um, so, I, I think we have somebody on the call. Um, uh, no? Uh, okay, uh, I'll go to... Um, Okay. Yeah, we're going to the next call. Sorry, we couldn't hear uh, the caller there. Well, we're going to the next next call, please. Hello, uh, what's your name and where are you calling from, please? And what would you like to say? Uh, you talking to me? Yes, yes, sir. Hello there. Uh, what's your name? Yeah, just I'm calling from all the from North Welsh. Okay. Uh, what would you like to say uh, or add to? Oh, uh, can I talk to the studio then? Yes, yes, you are. You are uh, talking to the studio. Yes. Carry on. Hello? Yes, hello. Can you hear us? We, we can hear you. Uh, what would you like to say? No, uh, I, would, I was watching the programs anyway, like since a long time. Uh, I, I say whatever it comes to say anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I listen to the, whatever the priest says, whatever the doc doctor says, mm -hmm. and whatever the counselor says. Uh, yeah, as Asian communities, is, it doesn't mean it's like a Bengali community, it's like a Bengali Indian Pakistani, whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever all that you mentioned, Asian, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm right. Hello. Yes, we are. We are talking about uh, specifically. We're talking about the challenges uh, of uh, the Bangladeshi community that are that okay, are living that's in fine this anyway, UK. But wherever they mention the doctors, like he says, uh, restaurants and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, don't get me wrong. Anyway, I'm the second generation in this country. Can you hear me? Like hopefully, mm -hmm. like when uh, when my first generation came in this country it was in 1954 or whatever the time is 1968. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Th there was no jobs mm -hmm. we can go for it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's an easy job to go for it. So yes. like, or oh, whatever, well, it's like easy money. But on our first generation, we never think about it. We're going to settle down in this country and do all these things. Yes. But but I don't want to see my, my kids working in the restaurants and all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. So end of the day, like, yeah, we are trying our best, like, go for the first label. So wherever that wherever he's saying about the restaurant so we got MPs, which narali we got MPs, uh of three MPs from uh from london anyway mm -hmm. we got a couple of MPs in the shuffle brat food all over the places mm -hmm. in the world man yes Yes, I think you make a very good point. I mean, although we have got challenges, but we also have some successes within our communities. Definitely. And I think, you know, like Councillor uh, Khatun said, you know, what we need is role models within our communities. We need more professionals within our communities. And also about the job opportunities, whereas uh, previously there were, there were job opportunities within the manufacturing industry and so forth. But what we need to do now is, uh, is, is, uh, is, is open up the opportunities for our community to access better employment opportunities. We need to invest in our young people. I mean, obviously, today's subject wasn't just about the young people. It's mm -hmm. about migration, where we came from. But we need to open opportunities for the next generation, for mm -hmm. the young people mm -hmm. of tomorrow, mm -hmm. who will be the, who will be here. Mm -hmm. You know, and and yes, the the gentleman on the phone was right. He did say that the first generation came here and didn't think they would settle. Mm -hmm. They came to work. They thought they would go back to where they came from, their homes, the villages, and people settled and we stayed here. And mm -hmm. it's, it's still correct that we. You know, what we don't want for our children is the, the, the sort of barriers that we faced mm -hmm. or no, we want to here. make it easier for them mm -hmm. if we can and make sure that they get the opportunities they deserve. That's very important. You know, having access to the opportunities is, is the crucial thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris, I mean, um, the report, the, the case report mm -hmm. obviously highlights a lot of uh, challenges and, and issues. Uh, does it make any recommendation? It does. It makes some recommendations. And, and I, think, I think we're starting from further back than than Louis Casey's got to really. Um, although it may be, it may be between in, in this first recommendation she makes, which starts with providing additional funding, not mm -hmm. surprisingly really, mm -hmm. uh, and we're waiting to see, um, I've not heard anything, any additional funding coming through as a result of this report okay. as yet. And, and the key priorities being English language skills, empowering marginalized women, mm -hmm. social mixing, uh, particularly amongst young people. And one of the other recommendations is actually identifying and promoting social approaches. Mm -hmm. and I think we have a whole wealth of them coming from um, from uh, councillors um, Katoon over there, and especially the ca kind of uh, come dine with me. I think it's fantastic way of, of integrating, reducing isolation, enabling different cultures to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. I remember years ago I was working up in the northwest um, on on a, on a program on a on a on a, on a study, and it was looking at actually how the Asian community generally um, and the, and the far right 
political groups and the kind of enmity between the two and trying to look at how mediation may take place. And one of the workers there, a, a, a white guy, um, said to me, he said he found it really uncomfortable mm. nowadays because because of this programme, he'd now got to know this far right politician um, whose views he found are completely anathema, you know, and he said, but now I know his name. Mm -hmm. And I know his wife, Sil, mm -hmm. so when I talk to him, I have to ask these questions because it's about being social to him. And for him, he'd suddenly stop from being this politician he didn't agree with to being a human being. And therefore, these projects that enable us to stop seeing the labels on us, mm -hmm. even whether we agree or disagree, and start becoming human beings, I think is a starting point of integration. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's certainly within there. I'm going to miss out some of them. Um, I think some of the more important ones would be then looking at how there's more integrated schools and for pupils to mix with others of different backgrounds. I know another great project in, in the Birmingham area called The Feast um, and, it's, and it's a, it enables Muslim and Christian young people to come together to discuss their faith and to learn from each other. These kind of ways of going over, over new ways, these, mm -hmm. are, these are great ways of working. So that, that would be particularly important and English language provision I think comes back, we keep coming back to this communication aspect mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. but I would go further back to what I said earlier, hopes, aspirations, confidence, mm -hmm. you can do it, you know, it can be done. But how do we build that hope into somebody who has been deprived? How do you build that aspiration? What well, I think it's being done, I think it's being done in places such as uh, in Tipton, and I think it is building the relationships mm -hmm. uh, with people who come along and he's saying, yes, you can do it, yes, it's not beyond you, yes, mm -hmm. you're clever enough. And, and, and as, as Councillor Tim was saying earlier, look, you run the budget for the home, you look after your, your, your in-laws, you look after this, you mm -hmm. organise the medical care, you do all this, mm -hmm. it's more complicated than running a business, so mm -hmm. therefore... For the managerial skills. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Chris, I have and to just uh, ask you to hold on there. Mm -hmm. We have a number of callers uh, online. Um, uh, uh, we, uh, hello, uh, what's your name, please, and where are you calling from? Hello? Hello? Yes, hello, sir. Uh, what would you, uh, what's your name and where are you calling from, and what would you like to say? My name is Dr. Karim. I'm ringing from Mansfield. Okay. Hello, uh, Dr. Karim. Welcome to the show. So what would you like to say? I'd just like to say they are doing a good job and it is a timely program for our community. Okay. Well, thank you very much uh, for, your, uh, for your encouragement. And, and I think, you know, uh, this is what we want. We want the community, uh, like uh, Chris said, you know, we want the community to aspire for a better future mm -hmm. for ourselves. And, uh, and, and I think, you know, uh, the contribution from, from all sectors of the community is very important. And like Councillor uh, Khatun said, you know, we need to work locally as well as nationally. Yeah. Uh, and we need to motivate each other. We need to encourage others to do better uh, for our I mean, communities. as Chris says, I think the faith Faith organizations have always played a good part in right. community cohesion and integration and I think that they have a lot more to play. I mean we also do faith trials mm -hmm. where we take people on a bus and we take them to the temple and the mosque and then we take them to a church mm -hmm. in, in the area as well and they visit and they then they you know the education we get young Muslim young boys who then give a bit of a, a, a talk sure. about their faith mm. and then the older generation from the, 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 the Christian community mm. will listen and uh, they do the same, they take them in. And I think it's a really good way of, of sharing, you know, uh, mm -hmm. what we have and um, um, it, it does bring out the good in people mm. and I think, you know, the more of that, mm. I think we need to go back to those um, organisations who've always contributed mm -hmm. and we do rely on them a lot and mm. um, I think they need to be recognised. Nice. Yeah, Dr. Hussein, I was going to ask you this specific question that we spoke about earlier we, in our previous conversation. You mentioned about some of the practical measures that can be uh, uh, put in place to help our community move forward. I mean, the purpose of this uh, gathering is to not work in isolation. What mm -hmm. I say, what she says, what he says, we have to all work together. Mm -hmm. That's a, one of the main things, to work together to the betterment of the community, mm -hmm. one thing. From my experience, what I've seen in the last one year, I've been uh, doing competency-based education and training. Mm -hmm. And I had around maybe more than 50 ladies coming to my classes. They're interested, mm -hmm. business studies. Obviously, the problem was English language. Some of them couldn't write. Mm -hmm. But uh, competence-based education doesn't mean you have to have a very good knowledge about English. 
Mm -hmm. I have done it in the past as for industry where people are working in industry and they couldn't write, mm -hmm. but they could do the jobs properly. So I had special permission for them to do the competences. Yes, can you do this? Can you do that? Like driving a car. Mm -hmm. It's just test competence based. Can you do this? Start it up, go around, do this, do that. So it's like that. So there are ladies who are coming out, Bangladeshis. Mm -hmm. They're interested and uh, they are doing well. Mm -hmm. And if given the opportunities, uh, they will do well. And the other thing is for our uh, youngsters, like STEM is the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Mm -hmm. This is a scheme which is run by the government. Mm -hmm. It's like after school. Mm -hmm. And I've seen most mostly uh, even in Pakistani Bangladeshi communities, they st send their children for extra classes, extra tuition. They're paying money for that. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to uh, take that a bit further and in like community centers we have, and we have a plan of starting a college in, in the Sandwell where we could bring the STEM for children, mm -hmm. science, engineering, mathematics. If it is built into the youngsters of today, mm -hmm. tomorrow, wherever they go, they want to study or they want to work, they want management experience, these things will help them to build their so future career. So for, for someone who is, let's say, listening uh, to this show uh, or watching this show from Manchester, for example, how can they get access to that opportunity? They, sh they, will, they can go to some Research. internet, yes, okay. uh, STEM, S D E M, okay. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Mm -hmm. So they'll find some courses run by the local schools. Mm -hmm. If they don't have it, then maybe it, they can contact us mm -hmm. through you, mm -hmm. and we'll see if we can provide provide something in their area. It is building. Mm -hmm. It is building up. So it, this is an opportunity where people can get access to. Another thing I would like to add is uh, our, we, our people, youngsters, can go into education and training. So there is a higher education academy mm -hmm. where they can have to become members. So this is way forward. So if I have the basics, I don't have any degree, I'm say 25 or 30 years mm -hmm. old. So I can go through teacher's training without actually doing the BSc or bachelor's degree in okay. the subject. I can go through, through this competence-based in the local colleges. There are a lot of uh, businessmen have taken the opportunity to run these courses, mm -hmm. but obviously be careful that there are some people just there to make money. Mm -hmm. They're setting up colleges, making money, and running away. Mm -hmm. So be careful. Mm -hmm. But there are opportunities for uh, ladies, for youngsters, for people. And I've had lots of people who are in uh, taxi driving and their English is good, their maths is good. But they left the school, didn't know where, so they started a job. Now they found an opportunity. Mm -hmm. They said, we have to do level four, level three. So the opportunities are coming. Mm -hmm. But you have to be focused. You have to find some proper colleges or uh, providers. Make sure that it is a genuine college. So this is where I think you know the role of the community and voluntary sector is very important, important. isn't it? And I think you know uh, moving forward in terms of uh, uh, building our community capacity, it's about building the capacity of the community and voluntary sector because we have, I mean, you know, we, you and I, we work to, we work in uh, a voluntary sector organisation and also in the public sector. But I think you know the, one of the most important role that the voluntary sector uh, has is about that link, that uh, about being that bridge between the, our community and the and the mainstream services it's about you know uh, crossing over you know helping the community to move over to the mainstream services and getting the opportunities and also there's a lot of opportunities out there who are looking to access the communities in which they find hard to access so I think this is in the middle part where the the voluntary sector has a, has a crucial to role do. to role to play so um, I think that brings in the trust aspect as mm -hmm. well because um, Local people and communities trust community voluntary sector. They don't trust particularly the public sector so much, mm -hmm. but they do trust the people that they know. And there's a, a, a government um, paper on uh, changing policy, mm -hmm. uh, and, I've, and and it's called. Um, it's just gone straight out of my head. But the first element of it is all the letters stand for different things. The first thing uh, or element of it is is the word uh, is is the word messenger. That actually who gives the message mm -hmm. is most important so therefore if the person giving the message of engagement for development for aspiration for hope for education is someone that the person trusts is mm -hmm. more likely to have an impact uh, and i think that's where the community and the voluntary mm -hmm. sector particularly have an advantage as well as having a very you know as well as being very robust in terms of survival over the years which 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 you can prove to do as well mm -hmm. i'd like to add yes like this and i think another thing of funding at a higher level is called innovate uk mm -hmm. uh, there is a parliamentary debate going on at the moment how to increase uh, 
commercialization of products. Uh, the universities, British universities, they do a lot of research and they are not commercialized. So what the government is wanting that you have developed something, you have made something, now go and make something uh, on an industrial scale. Mm -hmm. So the government, government is funding. Mm -hmm. So if I have a, a research interest, I'm an industrialist, I can go to university and say, do you have someone who can help me out? Mm -hmm. So they'll work in partnership as well. This is another one, KTP. So there are lots of opportunities for our people who, who have got a bit of money from restaurant, from this business, that means anything, medical side, or they can invest and develop a something. Uh, like lots of things are happening in nanotechnology and cancer research. Mm -hmm. Billions, millions and millions of dollars are being spent in that area. So you can come out with a new idea and you can become the owner. University will give you an expert mm -hmm. to work with you and you develop th things together and output is yours. Okay. You become the owner. And the university will give you the, like the real path to go forward and they will give you, it will take one year, two years, you decide, work together with the universities, and then you have a product. And this currently stands as, as it is. speak? It is there. Okay, okay. And the university, the government wants that you invent something, come to us, we'll fund you. Okay. But not 100%, you have to have the... Match funding. Yeah, match, match funding. funding yeah. And also something with you. You can't okay. just come and say, I want to make something, but what? Mm -hmm. So you must have the ideas, things in place, mm -hmm. and some, something a feel that I want to do it. Well, like I said earlier, I mean, you know, our community is very entrepreneurial, you know, yep. very, very business minded people. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, if we knew that there are opportunities out there, perhaps we could expand our thinking and, and start thinking about uh, perhaps, uh, you know, engineering uh, or, or, or other fields that uh, we probably shy away from at this moment. Yeah, so I think it's, a, it, it's about knowing what the uh, what the opportunities are out there. So I also wanted to touch on. Uh, obviously, we talked about the uh, you know uh, the support mechanism, but I think the the biggest support that any individual can have is from their family. It is. Is there any? What can the family as a unit can be? What can we do as a family to uh, contribute towards the uh, development of our community overall? I mean, is there any? changes that we need to bring within our families in terms of the way we think, the way we operate with the society, you know, because we talked about isolation, you know, do we need to say to ourselves, uh, to our families, says, Look, let's, let's be a part of the overall society. Well, Is there a role the family can play in this? Yes, and from my experience, people, I had lots of ladies coming to, the, to the classes, mm -hmm. community-based classes, uh, they said, can we run it on a Sunday? Mm -hmm. Because on Sunday, the father is at home if he's working, mm -hmm. and I can leave my children with my family. Mm -hmm. And it's happening. The, the husband is at home, okay. or the other el elder children are at home, so they can come out and do the courses. So it's already happening if okay. there is a wish. And the family, some of the families, they are taking part. Mm -hmm. They're saying that, where is the job? Mm -hmm. Now, if you do a course, you may have a degree, but the job is not always there. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the qualification mm -hmm. and experience, and then you have to navigate around to find a job. Job is not always there. Okay. So mm -hmm. you have to have the patience as well mm -hmm. and uh, go from there. So the community is taking care of uh, this kind this of thing. And we also have this uh, in, in mind uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, in this um, initiative 2030 that we'll build up community-based education and training with engineering, basics engineering, management, and other courses. Innovate UK might come into it. And we have HE Higher Education Academy training in it. So that will build up as a model for rest of the UK, so we could start in Midlands, okay. and then it can uh, grow okay. elsewhere. We've got, uh, I think, we've got about one minute left uh, to uh, the end of our show. Uh, so I just want to give you, um, our guests, uh, opportunities to make some final comments. And I think you know, it's just a recommendation that if you would like to make a message to the to the community that they're watching us, that uh, you know, what would be your message? Because our focus is again, it's the development and the sustainable regeneration development of our community. What message do you have for our community, Chris? Don't limit. Let anyone limit mm -hmm. your aspirations. Don't let anybody say you can't do this. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody stereotype you into one particular path when you want to go down another, mm -hmm. um, but find out what's really possible. Mm -hmm. um, because I think there's there's great skills, great confidence, and great uh, abilities within the community. And I would say to any individual, don't let anybody ever talk you out of what you want to do. Okay, so if you have something in your mind, go out there, yeah, search for, for it, it, and go for it. Go for it. Thank you very much, Chris. Dr. Hussein? From this show, uh, the main thing is that let's get together as a community, mm -hmm. don't split. 
Mm -hmm. Let's get together, see what is way for, what is the way forward. Can we do something for uh, for me, for you, for them mm -hmm. together? Get forward. That's one unit. That's one unit. Let's, let's don't don't get uh, say, oh, I don't like this. Don't like this. Mm -hmm. If I make a mistake, let's see where the mistake is. Make it less. Get together. Make a way forward. Okay, lovely. Thank you very much for that important, very important suggestion. Uh, Councillor Khatoun. Uh, yeah, you talked about families and how it's important. <coughs> and, and yes, we do have a very strong family support networks. We do have ex you know, extended families. <coughs> and I think families should look at supporting each other and saying, let's invest our time, let's give this person an opportunity. And for the individuals themselves to see within themselves, they've got a lot of skills, they've got a lot to offer, especially women mm -hmm. who haven't thought outside the box. I think they should should mm -hmm. and I think the family should start encouraging them people outside should and I think you know sometimes women haven't had encouragement from men and mm -hmm. I think some men should really encourage some of the women and, and say to them look mm -hmm. you can do it and I think most of my success mm -hmm. to be honest to say behind every successful man has been a woman mm -hmm. most of my success has actually come from men who have mm -hmm. supported me mm -hmm. who have actually said to me that you should go forward you know so yeah, it has definitely from my experience it has been men it's made a difference to my life so mm -hmm. I know that you know if men are out there please encourage women to you're an to example as well yeah well thank you very much and I think um, you know it has been a wonderful uh, fruitful uh, discussion today uh, this is the first of our show um, that uh, we hopefully will be continuing uh, in the in the future our next show will be on Monday the 24th uh, same time where we will be joined by a group of young community activists and we will hear from them from them their viewpoint in terms of the commitment they have made in, uh, in, in the development of their community and, the, and in their journey. Um, it is my strong belief and I'm sure it's, uh, uh, my guest will also agree and also you at ho home will agree that the Bangladeshi community should no longer be uh, pinning all our hopes on others to solve our problems. We have to um, you know, uh, be proactive and come, to, uh, come together and find solutions to our problems so that we, are no, we should no longer be regarded as one of the most deprived but but as a developed community uh, living in uh, in this country so thank you very much for joining us today and we hope to um, as, uh, we hope to we hope that you'll uh, join us next uh, month as well and we lo look forward to our next show so thank you very much for joining us today and uh, and thank you very much uh, to uh, all our guests uh, for coming and joining us today thank you thank you thank you very much